Hello, and welcome to Coffee Creek Bonsai. Today's video is going to be about the bald cypress seedlings that I've been growing the past few months. All three of the seedlings that I've been growing are doing very well right now. They are sending out lots of branches and really enjoying the full sun they've been getting. I'm going to show you guys some pictures of these seedlings when they're a lot smaller, and also some pictures of mature bald cypresses that live around my neighborhood. This is the tallest tree in my yard, and it is the parent of the tree that I'm growing right now. It sends up all sorts of like little knees across our yard in this area. Hard to see, but when you're walking around, you can definitely feel them when you <laughs> like bumps in the dirt. Um, it has all sorts of branches up in its canopy, so it's real crowded up there. And what's really funny about it is this year, it's growing some new shoots out of old wood over here. I don't know why it's doing that, but that's part of the reason I love bald cypresses so much. I am going on a little walk right now to show you guys two other bald cypresses that are growing in my neighborhood. Here's another bald cypress that lives in my neighborhood. The lower branches on it have been cut off to give it a kind of strange shape compared to the one I have. But it's doing really well. I'd say it's not as old as the one in my backyard though. Here are two more bald cypresses that live in my neighborhood. They're doing very good right now, and have had their lower branches cut off so people can go into their driveways. Here's the last bald cypress I know of in my neighborhood. It hasn't been cut back nearly as much as the other ones have. It seems to be doing very good as well. About a mile north of my house, there are a lot of bald cypress trees along the coast of the lake. Lots of geese have made their homes under the trees, so I don't want to get too close to them, but this will probably attack me. There are a whole bunch of them along this lake, probably around 10. They all seem to be doing good and have lots of cypress knees under them. Here's some of the cypress knees that those trees made. Funny thing is, scientists don't even really know quite yet why they make them or what purpose they have. And now, back to the seedlings that I am growing. These three bald cypresses are only a few months old, but they're already sending out lots of branches. The branches mainly get lots of sunlight for the tree and help make it grow taller. So they feed all the sugar and the water from the root system all the way to the top and produce more branches, as you can see this one doing right here. By studying the big bald cypress in my backyard, I've determined that the bald cypress trees drop their needles and those little branches they're making in the fall and form little leaf stars. And then the next spring, those leaf stars have buds on them that become new branches the next year, but they're even bigger and stronger than the ones the previous year. All three of them are in six inch pots, and the tallest one right here is definitely taller than six inches compared to the pot it's in. One day, when seeing how well they were growing, I was thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if the root system is doing just as well. So I picked up the pots, and to lo and behold, little roots were growing out of there, which is really neat. Really shows you how strong they are. This bald cypress tree has a little plant growing in its pot right here. I don't really know what type of plant it is, but it's not harming it, so I'm happy to just let it stay there and be cool. I think that's going to be it for today. I think that I'm going to be making another video about some red buds that I am growing. I hope everyone has an amazing day and stay safe out there.